Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Excel 2016 exam preparation series. In our last episode, we took a look at how to update your inventory workbook to include new items where we looked at importation of list or getting an external data, then changing tab colors, copying content from one worksheet into another worksheet, and reordering worksheets and we also looked at how one can hide worksheets so if you missed that particular episode you can go through our facebook page which is um, f-i-t-t-s setipot fit setipot so without wasting much time we will look at how to create chart hyperlinks and conditional formatting so i will be using the fission supplies exercise file and i'll obviously leave a link within the uh, a comment section or as part of the caption of the video which will be uploaded on facebook so let's quickly look at our question and how best we can solve it and this is geared towards passing a microsoft exam in excel 2016 so the question is saying um, a small discount fishing supply store is creating an inventory report they need help with chat hyperlinks and applying conditional formatting and we've been asked to assist so our first task is to join cells a1 through to e1 of the tackle worksheets of the tackle worksheet do not change the alignment of the content so i'll go back to my excel worksheet and currently our active worksheet is the carriers and coolers so we move to tackle worksheet and we've been asked to merge a1 through to e1 so with a selection you can just click on it and use your shift and the right arrow key or you hold on the left mouse button you drag across a1 through to e1 and we were not told to change the alignment so we need to leave the alignment at default so if you are conversant with the application and you know your way around which is your navigational skills you go to the home tab which is um, our default then we move to the alignment group and here we're looking at merge and center but if i click on merge and center it will change the alignment we don't want to change the alignment of the text so i'll go and click on the drop down arrow then i'll click on merge across so this solves our first task so if it were to be the microsoft exam you would have passed this particular task then the task to talk about um, we need to go to the carriers and coolers worksheet and link the content in cell C10, C11, and C12 to cell A4 on the tackle worksheet. So if you are linking content, then we are basically looking at hyperlinks. So we go to Caris and Cooler's worksheet, then we need to link the content of C10, C11, and C12. Let me be sure. C10, C11, and C12 to A4. So I'll click on cell C10. And if it's about linking content, uh, I'm probably trying to move from one sheet to the other. When we click on a particular item we've linked, which is hyperlink, we know that we need to go to the insert tab. Then we look for our links group which is here then i'll click on the link and since we are linking it within the same worksheet we have linked to existing file or web page and that is not what we want so we want to link it to a place in this document and we are linking whatever is on Kyrie's and cooler's worksheet which is the c10 c11 and c12 to a4 on the tackle worksheet so i'll click on tackle worksheet and I'll, I'll change the one and I'll type in four, A4. Then I'll click on OK. Then that solves the question. So in order to 
not waste much time i will select c11 and c12 you click on it use the shift and down arrow key or you can drag over it then i'll go and click on my link again then place in this document i'll select tackle then to a4 so that solves our second task so our third task is to go back to Kairos and Cooler's worksheet and apply the three flags icon set conditional formatting to the content in the inventory column. So since this is about conditional formatting, I need to look at the inventory co um, column, which is column D. I click on it once. I use Control Shift Down Arrow to select an entire ring. So if there is about a million of the rows, this makes it faster and you become more efficient. So once it's been selected, where can I find my conditional formatting command or button? So if you've been using Excel for over six months or for over a year, it shouldn't be a problem. So you go back to your home tab then within the home tab we have the styles group so within the styles group there is conditional formatting and we've been asked to use the three flag icon set so after watching this video you need to explore the other options and make sure you're good at it so go to icon set then i look for my three flag conditional formatting so once i click on it it solves the question I'll go back to my next task, which is on the careers and coolers worksheet. Expand the chat data range to include the rest of the rows in the table. So we have a pie chart, which only looks at um, from small tackle box to large cooler, which can be seen here. But we want to include from small cooler, small tackle box combo to road um, rod holder with removable fish um, fish storage so once you click on the chart you can either use the contextual tab which is the chart tools design and format or you can make it um, easy by just dragging from this point to cover the entire data range so once you do that at least you get the result here so this is how you can expand the chat data range. So if you're in office and they give you an assignment, this is how to go about it. It's very simple. Then the last task is to copy only the careers and coolers worksheet <coughs> into a new workbook. And we save it in a practice test one folder. So you can save it in any folder on, on your system as inventory report close the new workbook before proceeding so copy only the careers and coolers worksheet so how do you copy careers and coolers worksheet into um onto into a new workbook so once i come to my careers and coolers worksheet i right click on it then i'll select move or copy then we have moved to end, but I want it in a new workbook. So I come click on fishing supplies. I select new workbook. And since we are copying, I need to make sure create a copy is selected. If not, it will move the entire worksheet onto a different workbook, which defeats the purpose of this exercise. So I'll click on create a copy, click on OK, and that copy will be created. And the question goes on to further asks us to save it as inventory report. Inventory report. So I'll go back to my book one. And if I want to save, I can either click on the save found um, on the quick access toolbar. I can go to file. Then I'll click on save then i browse to a location but i want to save it in my practice test one folder so once i click on it 
and I'll come and type the name as inventory report. I've already saved one in there. So if I just overwrite it. Yes. So once I save my inventory report, I close this and I'm done with the second episode of our Excel 2016 exam preparation series. Thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in our next episode. So for more information about the Microsoft Office Specialist Program, you type setiports.com in any of your browser. Then you can read more about it from that page. setiports.com forward slash Morse. Thank you very much for the time.